Hi, this is Beverly with the Intuitive Interior. It is time for the June 2020 Feng Shui Energy Report. Uh, this month is the Water Horse Month. Um, now, the horse um, animal typically lives in the south sector. So we're gonna be kind of focusing more on what exactly does that mean for the overall flavor of the month of June. The south sector has the number nine associated with it um, traditionally. It's the fame and reputation sector. It also has a lot of fire energy in it. So the fire element is what gets that fame and reputation out there. It's what makes people you know, have that, woohoo, I am, look at me, I'm, you know, look at me, <laughs> look at me, that's the fire element. And um, when you have the annual star that's part of that, the, the two star, they also call that the illness star, um, it, it can actually unbalance that, that element in there. The, the two star, that illness star can make you not just have physical illness, it can also kind of mess up with your ideas of, of how you're putting yourself out there. Uh, and what am I, you know, how am I, am I able to maintain my integrity? So that's, you know, that's kind of a general thing. So now we've got those little layers there. But then for the month of June, this year, for just this month, we have the additional flavor of the monthly star. The monthly star is number eight. It's the eighth, it's the uh, star that usually lives in the Northeast, the skills and knowledge sector. Uh, that skills and knowledge sector has an earth element uh, to it. Um, it's also one of my favorite sectors because uh, you have, the, the more new skills and knowledge that you have, the more opportunities you can find to make more money, to get new more opportunities. Uh, you know, come on, that's why people go to college. That's why, that's why you go to, you take cl online classes so that you can gain a skill so that you can get a better job or get do something different in your world. So here I am all excited about this. Um, this is a great month that if you've been thinking about, well, I, I need to figure out what else, what, what my next step is. Well, how am I going to pivot? You now have the horse opportunity energy of the South sector, of that fame and reputation, all on your side, under, you know, giving you the, the, the you know, fire blast to get off the rocket, off the, off the not the rocket, rocket, you know, the, the launch pad, you know. Um, but you've also got that energy that is like saying, okay, I, I mean, you're open to learn. So look for the opportunities to learn. Look for how, you know, who can help you uh, with this. That's that two energy in there. But make sure though that you are really focusing too on your health because you don't want to over exhaust yourself when you've got all that fire energy of like, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do that. You, you can, you can do, do damage to yourself. So um, that's kind of the general flavor of June. But I also drew a couple of, of cards uh, the I Ching, which is again what all feng shui is based on because of all the different hexagrams, they all correspond with the different uh, elements and anyway, not here to go into a whole uh, dissertation on that. But the two cards, because I always like to draw two, um, the two cards that I like to, to that it came up really both had a lot to do with taking that deep breath, really looking at what you know versus what you don't know and not being too proud to ask for some help. So the first card that I drew was this one right here. It's a uh, number four. It's the in, the, in the deck, it's called Youthful Folly. The, some of the words that they have on the bottom of this card that I thought were fascinating are impulsiveness, immaturity, ignorance, learning impatience, or not, not learning impatience, but learning and, and impatience and reckless behavior. Um, the other card that I drew was number 42, which was called the increasing card. <clears throat> so what this has to do about those together and how they're working together is it is 
truly about looking at what's showing up in your world. Maybe it is you specifically. <clears throat> Maybe it's the whole global thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe it is um, a little bit of both. Because I'm just gonna go ahead and, and use this whole concept that we've got all of these uh, protests and and uh, the, the everybody getting all close together again, and we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So we've got this health issue that is part of, of the illness star. And then we have all of this fiery energy, like, oh my God, we've gotta get out and do something. That's the fire element in, you know, the South. And now we have a lot of calls for people to listen, to learn from the people who've been going through this problem for a while. There's the skills and knowledge part. And that's just one example. Okay, they're not, you know, again, just trying to like tie loot tie ins together. The overall vibe of this particular card and I'll put that down below so that you can look this up on your own if, if you wish, is that we don't know what we don't know. And as we keep doing the thing, same things over and over again, you're still picking up new lessons, especially if you're listening, if you're, especially if you're listening to understand versus listening to rebut. Um, if you keep listening, you, you're going to get more skills and more information. And so just like my earrings, you know, that got that little spiral thing there. Actually, I really hadn't planned that, but that's just how it worked out. <laughs> um, you're going to constantly making that upward, upward, upward cycle. Even if it feels like I'm doing the same thing over again, everything, the same thing keeps happening. You're not, you're always making progress sometimes you're making progress like a rocket gets up off the ship. Sometimes you're just, you know, barely moving one level up at a time, but you're still making progress. So I just wanted to like share that. Um, now though is a time when you very well may find yourself in the middle of a position where, okay, I have this life experience. I have this lived experience. I have this knowledge that I have studied. It's time for you to be the mediator, the time that for the person, for you to take that, that opportunity to share generously with those who don't have it. Maybe it is simply information. Maybe it is money. Maybe it is time. Maybe it is you go and you get groceries for someone. I don't know, that's, that's the whole mediation part. But this is an opportunity, this is the month where it really is important to calm down that desire to go out and blast out and go just do all the things with calming things down and realizing, hmm, maybe I need to go inside a little bit, water horse. Maybe I need to go inside a little bit to see, is this right for me or am I getting swept up in the action? But action is still necessary. It's just, we need to have it be grounded action. So let me make sure that my notes, I've got everything else. Uh, yes, I think I got it all. Um, oh, except for there is this one last thing. The cosmic law of kindness and generosity will always reward those who are willing to put out that energy into the world. Because just like anything else with feng shui, it always comes back to clutter, <laughs> to decluttering. When you make space, for something, you leave open a vacuum to bring more goodness back in. So especially, so take that piece of advice and know that the, the, the cosmic law of kindness and generosity always has our back, especially this month of June. If you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comment below and I will happily give you that inf uh, answer to the best of my ability. For um, an I Ching reading of your own, just send me, a, put, put your information down below or if you have any questions about Feng Shui, you can check out my YouTube channel and enjoy. Have a wonderful rest of your June.